Ladies and gentlemen, Republicans will defund the latest special counsel, the 50th special counsel into Donald Trump. Um, they had the January committee, found nothing. Liz Cheney and Adam Kinzinger failed miserably. Um, they have the Department of Justice and the Federal Bureau of Investigation. They already know the documents that Trump has. You can look in the comment, in the pinned comment, well, the description as well, numerous articles explaining a president can indeed acquire and keep uh, classified data. If there's an issue with the National Archives, which is a government library, that issue is generally resolved through attorneys. This isn't a, a big national security risk like Hillary Clinton siphoning classified data outside of the United States government onto secret servers. Top secret. Okay, intelligence. Trump had the ability to declassify. Clinton did not. You can watch the short on this channel and hear the Honorable James Comey stating, well, no reasonable prosecutor would indict, although there's uh, evidence of violations of the law. Hit subscribe to this channel right now. Uh, the, the latest short on this channel explains why Donald Trump, why Republicans should thank God for Donald Trump, okay? We had record low poverty under Trump in 2019. If you were like a socialist or a communist or Democrat, far left, what is there not to like about Trump? Forget about the media, forget about intelligence agencies and everybody you claim to, to be against, the far left claims to be against these people, but of course, um, Trump is a big menace. We had record low unemployment, record low poverty. Household median incomes were at record highs. We didn't have a record debt, uh, household uh, credit card debt. Median wages down 8.5% according to the uh, Dallas Fed. Real wages were, were up 1.1% in 2019 under Trump. They hit subscribe to this channel. They're going to defund the um, special counsel using the Holman rule. And Marjorie Taylor Greene Newsweek, Holman rule will defund Garland special counsel. And there is... Okay, so Holman Rule, look it up. GOP leader is going to put it in place. That means no money for Garland's politically weaponized special counsel. Don't promise too many jobs. Whoops, defunded. Then there was a Georgetown or George Washington University professor said, well, you know what? The Senate has to pass it also. Okay, well, then you'll never get a spending bill passed. A spending bill starts in the House. Then you'll have a government shutdown over this. If Democrats want a government shutdown over this, that's fine. And they probably do. Their lifeblood, their, the essence of the Democratic Party is to investigate Trump because FTX, Hunter Biden, um, everything like $10 million that Biden acquired through his son. You can look up the history of our current president is that he made it known that he didn't have a lot of money. That was like a huge thing for Joe Biden, that, oh, well, you know what, he's the poorest senator, and he was, and for a long time, he was, for decades, and what happened was, when he became vice president, he amassed 10 to, like, 9 to 12 million dollars, how do you do that on a government salary, how on earth do you, even the vice presidents, how do you do that, they say speaking engagements and book deals, have you heard him speak, I don't think so, but when he could speak, he spoke to the Council on Foreign Relations and stated that he forced out a prosecutor and that the people um, that he was speaking to in the country and invaded under his watch um, couldn't believe it, said, you don't have the authority to do so. And then he said, I'll go ask the president. And so he was bragging about it, boasting. And even the people that he spoke to within that, uh, within that um, when he was bragging about his speech, said, you don't have the authority to do that. They didn't know that the prosecutor was being forced out and a billion dollars in loan guarantees was being withheld. That is actually clear quid pro quo. And Hunter was working on the company that benefited. And the company's emails uh, show that they wanted influence on behalf of the company. When Democrats or media or the Washington Post say, well, the timeline doesn't add up. No, their timeline doesn't add up. 
you know that like 150 suspicious activity reports were filed by banks. So this is just like a serious, serious issue. Okay, you don't have you you wouldn't even find one suspicious activity report with Trump. But he's accused of everything under the sun. They can't find anything. You can indict Hunter tomorrow. He, he's under criminal investigation by the federal government. And forget about not just the graft and bribery, which is he has firearms charges and he has um, tax issues. So, I mean, then you have the FTX debacle. The second largest donor is Sam Bankman Freed. And then you're going to have more exchanges, crypto exchanges, unfortunately, go under. And how many you're giving to Democrats? Probably a whole lot. So, the Holman Rule, which is basically um, Congress does not have to fund anything that isn't part of a law or a spending package, okay? Because Congress has the power of the purse. And so, the one caveat is the Senate, but they're not going to get a spending bill (laughs) through the Senate. So, here, this is a Newsweek article um, Marjorie Taylor Greene, Holman Rule will defund Garland Special Counsel, but then um, one scholar said, even if the House succeeded, I doubt a Democratic-led Senate would agree to a spending bill that defunds Department of Justice personnel conducting lawful investigations. Um, then, there, then there's a government shutdown. <laughs> then they don't fund the government. Because you can't just, you can't weaken, even the never Trumpers should understand this, and they do understand this. You're going to weaken the Republican brand, just like Jeff Flake did. I mean, they lost Arizona and Georgia two years ago, and Jeff Flake, the outgoing senator, was openly hostile to Trump. So was McCain. He did the Republican Party no favors. How is that, how is that Trump's fault? Because Trump said things media didn't like, and then Democrats didn't like, and never Trumpers didn't like. It's like... Biden, mashed potato brains, mashed potato brains could take a gigantic dump outside on the White House lawn. And Democrats would say, it's fierce, it's amazing, it's fantastic, oh my God, what courage. They would never even say, he, the man is slurring his speech. He's like, if it's, if, it's a, uh, if, it's a, if it's a hot mic between Biden and Fetterman, I mean, you'd have a better chance deciphering whale sounds. Or like a pod of dolphins speaking to a bunch of whales. You'd have a better chance deciphering what uh, these dolphins and whales were saying to each other. It's impossible to even know what they're talking about half the time. Mashed Potato Brains, our president, is, is shaking hands with ghosts and he's like being like coddled and, and propped up and God bless him. I, you know, I feel bad for him. You know, it's not, not, not a nice thing to look at. I feel bad for the man, but um, God bless him. What can you say? It's now a pathetic sight for the whole world to see, but Democrats don't care. They, you know, you hear this nonsense from the National Review, like, candidate quality. Or like, you know, there's like, oh, you know, candidates matter. Well, no, they don't. Look at Fetterman and look at Biden. You don't even have to actually communicate effectively at all. You can mash things. Like, Pennsylvania just elected a senator who communicates the way Yoda would if Yoda was an alcoholic. So, it's just, you know. Of course, Oz was like, what? Look, look. This was the worst debate performance of all time. But they, they don't care. What Trump says de sanctimonious. Oh my God, Trump, he said de sanctimonious. Oh, big problem, big problem. I mean, every, like, Trump doesn't create the drama, okay? Never Trump Republicans, and especially media, and of course Democrats, sensationalize everything. And the never Trump Republicans think that if we just had a good Republican, then media would be nice to us. Like, no, it's a template, rubric, roadmap, game plan. It's it's a strategy now. The next person after Trump, years from now, will be worse than Trump. And then they just, that's how they do things now. But anyway, they're not going to fund the special counsel, which will be absolutely hilarious. Give me your thoughts below. Hit subscribe. 
right now to this channel. Thank you.